Hi there, in this video, I wanna share with you how to create this sci-fi power-up sound effect. All right, so what we're gonna do is start up with a fresh instance of Faceplant here. I'm gonna start off with a sampler generator. And in here, I'm gonna load my sound effect that I used for this power-up, and the sound effect was this. That's right, these are all crow sounds. All right, so that was my sound source for this riser sci-fi power-up sound effect. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is create an LFO, and this is gonna be like our constant go-to for applying this LFO to different um, parts of our effects and things. So I'm gonna use a ramp up, and I'm gonna turn down the speed to about, I don't know, around two to 300. Doesn't really matter because we can fix this up uh, later. And now what I'm gonna do is assign this to a few different things. The first thing I'm gonna do is insert a distortion effect here. And I'm just gonna add a bit of, increase the distortion amount here like that. So now let's have a listen. So it's just increasing in distortion a little bit over time. Next, I'm gonna add disperse here over here. This is to kind of add that low end. Right now we don't have much low end in our sound. So we're actually not gonna get very much right now, but um, we're gonna keep it there for now. I'm gonna add a bit of transient here. Just so it pops a little bit right at the beginning. It's not gonna do too much, this is pretty subtle, but we're gonna keep that in there. Okay, next we're gonna add a compressor in here. I'm gonna bring down the threshold, increase the ratio, and increase the makeup a little bit. Perfect, next I'm gonna add here a non-linear filter. I like to do this uh, kind of curve here, this cut, and I'm gonna assign this here to the cutoff here, just like that. And actually what I want to do is go down over time, so like this. So we're gonna keep it at the middle around here, just like that. All right next, I wanna bring down my drive and I want this to increase the drive just so it gets a bit more distorted over time here. So something like this maybe. That's okay, I'm gonna add another disperser here, maybe a stereo effect. Let's increase the amount here, see if we can get some bass coming out of here. I'm not getting anything right now. But as I play lower, I'm gonna start getting the bass to play here. Right, so the bass is gonna start popping out with that. Okay, next here, I'm gonna add a phaser. Gonna increase the rate to about here, and I want the rate to slowly increase over time. So something like this. So I want the rate to slowly decrease over time, so kind of like that. I'm not gonna add a flanger. I'm gonna do the same thing here where I want the rate to go down over time. So put that here. Perfect. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna add here, this is what is gonna make up a lot of our sound here. And it's this wavetable. I'm gonna turn off the out so that we don't actually hear it. And we're gonna use this as an FM synth. I'm gonna apply this to the phase over here like this. And I'm gonna bring down the volume all the way to zero. So basically it's not affecting our sound. And then we're slowly gonna bring it in here with this LFO. And if we put it at a different place here. That sounds pretty good already to my ears. A few things I'm, I'm gonna wanna add here to this sound here. I'm just gonna add a bit of uh, multiband compression here. Let's bring this all the way down. That's pretty good. I'm gonna add some uber loud. And some light clipping. I don't want to overdo it here. Let's see what we can get. There you go, and if we want to change the tone a little bit of the sound here, we can change the wavetable. And we can play around with that. But this is how I created this sci-fi power-up patch.
All right. I hope you liked that, that video. If you are new and getting and just getting going in doing some sci-fi sound design, I have a video I think you might like. It's all about the beginner's guide that I put together of creating UI sound effects. So it's like easy sounds to get started with and just learning how to synthesize and put sounds together really quickly. So if you're interested, I'll have it on the screen here. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.